Um, well, first I'd like to thank the uh, faculty and staff of the college um, for allowing me to be here today. Um, and uh, in addition to that, the, um, the students who were my friends and colleagues uh, throughout my four years here. Um, so without further ado, my situation today is a little unorthodox. The long road for me was already completed months ago. I finished up my senior project this uh, past uh, December. A lot has happened to me since then. While many of you worried about uh, your classes or race to the end of your senior projects, I was out in the world people have for decades insisted is real. <laughs> for those who worry, I will scare them with harrowing tales of gritty survival, workaday drudgery, or illegal bare knuckle boxing matches just to make ends meet. You didn't hear that last part. <laughs> Um, please return to your seats. Um, while my time away is unlikely to mirror each of your experiences, I feel like I've undergone what many graduates have. First, expect your work ethic to, uh, and desire to make art to subside a little. Mine did. Uh, I've written and edited in the months since leaving Chester, but it's less, it took longer, and I was further between, it was further between than I had hoped. Uh, does this mean you aren't an artist? No, it, it means you're a human being. Uh, it means that you need to step away for a little while. Alumni from various years I've talked to told me this happens. Uh, if you go through life expecting to document it all immediately into your art, then none of it will stick. Sometimes the best way to be an artist is to just take life in. Uh, learn new things without immediately uh, thinking of how you can use it in your art. Uh, you know, experience it first. Be in the world before you reflect in your art. Be, uh, you know, whether you're capturing an image in the, into the phonogenic, breaking down elements and themes into the abstract, or merely eliciting a reaction, your art is still born from the world. Right now, we're all about to part ways from many familiar faces, familiar territory. Uh, your, your very world itself is going to be shaken up. So, basically, your main means of reflecting the world is going to be shaken up as well. You know, be aware I'm not giving you a free pass to be lazy here. Uh, you know, it's, it's only a genuine shakeup if you're trying and nothing comes of it. But, I do take comfort in the fact that the older alumni have told me how it comes back. The need to reflect the world in this way will make itself known. There's a lot, there's a lot out there to reflect on. You don't need to be of a particular philosophy or political, or, uh, political persuasion to find the world has plenty of problems. No matter how apathetic or un uninterested you might believe yourself to be in the world, there are things, either big or small, that you care about. One of my favorite authors, uh, Kurt Vonnegut, once wrote that many people need desperately to receive this message. I feel and think as much as you do, care about m uh, many of the things you care about. Although most people don't care about them, you are not alone. He also said the following of the arts. Artists are useful to society because they are so sensitive. They are super sensitive. They keel over like canaries in poison coal mines long before more robust types realize there's any danger whatsoever. I don't ask for any of you to do any keeling over. What I do hope, though, is that you'll take the coming months in stride, whether your pace is the same or greater, or whether you fall into a temporary slump. Your art is something necessary for you. That's what these four years at Chester have been, a determination of whether it's something in us to begin with. Since you're here today, the work of your manuscripts and galleries, your written work, your video, whatever you do, uh, it shows that you can stop and reflect your world in some meaningful way. Now, it's just a matter of packing up, settling down, uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere new, and starting again. Thank you.